Hello, this is Chris Gannon. I haven't done a tutorial in absolutely ages, so I'm really sorry about that. Um, I want to show you some of the things that I've been doing, uh, one of which is I've been using a lot of body moving, uh, which is an exporter, an SVG exporter from After Effects. Uh, and you have a, a JavaScript player, and uh, you spit out a JSON file from your After Effects uh, from After Effects and it, yeah, it creates a JSON file and the JSON file is then played back uh, using a, Jav a JavaScript library and um, plays inside a div and it's an, uh, an SVG animation. It's very cool. Um, and, but I, I'm kind of, um, as you may or may not know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of uh, Greensock and I do most of my animation with Greensock although I am doing a lot of prototyping and that sort of thing with body moving and uh, now um, because I find I can burn through a lot of ideas really quickly um, and you know get a lot of stuff down quickly and then when I'm when I'm happy with an idea I will um, create it properly in uh, in pure JavaScript and animate it with Greensock um, so um, but one of the things that I'm doing is combining the two so I'll create something in body moving and then control it with green sock. And I want to show you how I am nesting a body moving animation inside a green sock timeline. So um, this is a an animation called tick reveal. Um, I tend to, I'm giving a lot of stuff away at the moment, as I usually do actually, on um, lottiefiles.com. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can go pick this file up if you want. It's free. But what I want to show you is how I would, first of all, um, export this to Body Moving and then uh, bring it into uh, Greensock Timeline. So, um, so first of all, uh, you have to export it. Uh, and this one is called Tick Reveal. So I'm going to select Tick Reveal and click on my um, exporter. And we're going to call it tick reveal. Overwrite that. Uh, just have a look at the settings. These are the only settings that I'm using. So save that and then render it. So when that's rendered, I can nip over into um, Code Pen, create a new pen. I, I've got a template, uh, like a body moving template that I use. Uh, so I'm going to create a new template, and this is literally it. Um, well, I don't need all this. You can have this in there if you want, but I don't need it for this particular project. Uh, and so this this bit basically play, uh, plays it. Uh, so I'm going to upload it. Go to body moving, tick reveal. It's I've already got it up there, but I'm going to overwrite it. And when it's there, hello. Copy that and paste it into there. Get rid of that. And there's my animation. Uh, I, oh, I'm also using um, a, a li little library that I've made. Um, that I made it for a green sock called Scrub GSAP Timeline, but I also made Scrub Body Moving Timeline. Uh, and that is what this is. If I, if I turn that off, nothing happens. If I re-enable that, then I can just scrub through it and make sure that everything's as I want it to be. Um, but I'm going to get rid of that for a minute. Um, and um, the, the crucial thing to remember here is if you, you'll notice here that um, I'm creating a reference to the animation here. Uh, and um, most of the time you probably won't need this, but I'm adding an event listener for the DOM loaded event. Uh, and this is my function that's going to be called. And I'm going to add. Um, Actually, I don't need a complete a complete event. I just want to. What I, I I basically want this executed before I do anything because it won't recognize anything inside my um, uh, inside my div here. Any SVG stuff it won't recognize until the DOM loaded event is called. Okay. Oh, first of all, obviously we need to load GreenSock. Uh, so that's done. And uh, the first thing I want to do is um, just create an external reference to a timeline. So there you go, TL. And then we'll inside the DOM loaded thing, we're going to do TL is a new timeline max. 
Uh, and um, we can basically go ahead and start nesting it. So we're going to say, what we're going to do is um, we're going to sort of create a, uh, an object proxy, um, which sounds complicated. It's not. Um, it's literally just rather than um, animating a an element on the stage or some kind of graphical element, we're going to just animate an object and use the values that it spits out to control the timeline. So we're going to do tl dot two. And we're going to put in a function, uh, put in a, an object, and we'll give it an arbitrary property frame, and we'll start that at zero. Uh, and this is where we can say well, how long it's going to be. So we'll do it for three seconds to start with. Uh, and if you're familiar with Greensock, this all looks, I'm sure, familiar. Uh, and uh, now we can animate the, the actual frame property that we've put in, in here. And we're going to animate it to um, the anim, which is the body moving animation. Uh, we're going to do it to its total frames, minus one, because it's uh, zero based. Oh, no, we don't put the semicolon in there. Um, so, okay, so that's now running. Nothing's happening because we're not doing anything with that frame property. So what we can do is um, add in an on update, oops, an on update function. Uh, and we'll just make it an anonymous function. That's fine. So function. And then in here, this is where Greensock is telling body move to um, progress to different frames. So we're going to say anim dot, and we, this is a body moving function, go to and stop um, this dot target dot frame. So this is the timeline, target is this object, and frame is the property that we want to, to pull out. Um, and we're just going to say uh, true, and true is uh, is, a, is a something that we pass into the go to and stop thing to say it's a frame that we want, not a, um, a time signature. Uh, there's only one one other thing that we need to do, well a couple of other things. Um, the values that get that are often spat out of um, uh, Greensock can be uh, non integers so we're just going to say math dot round uh, and so we're just going to round that 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 number down um, and because we've already decided how the easing goes inside the body moving animation inside um, After Effects we just want to play this through with an with a linear ease you could if you wanted to, you could apply an ease um, to the playback of the entire animation. That's perfectly possible and perfectly feasible. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but if you want to preserve your, you know, the animation and how you've done all the easings inside Body Moving, then you just use a linear ease inside um, uh, Greensock. And that is it, I think. Let's just um, put in a, a, we're going to do a repeat, minus one. And that's going to repeat forever. Now that is being, uh, that is a body moving animation being controlled by Greensock. And we can make it really fast if we want. Uh, or um, we'll put it back to like two. Um, but now, because the reason why I do this is because um, I'm familiar with the API um, Greensock, and there's a whole load of things that I can do. Uh, for example, now I can uh, I can say I'm going to re repeat it. I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to put a repeat in here of one, uh, and I'm going to do yo yo true, and so it's going to it's going to play and then disappear. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's uh, a real nice quick tutorial on how to control body moving uh, with Greensock. So I hope you find it useful. Cheers!